Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth annual NASCAR World Championship hosted here on Gran Turismo Sport. We are driving the Super Formula cars. Drivers from Team Canada, Team USA, Team Brazil, Team France, Team Mexico, Team Great Britain, six different countries have a team formed and fielded ready for the 2021 NASCAR World Championship. We are gathered for round one at Willow Springs International Raceway. It's a rolling start. The cars are on the grid. The green flag has been shown. The lights are on and it's Enzo Ferrari for Team Canada leading them through turns one and two. Two-time NASCAR World Champion and defending and reigning NASCAR World Champion Even Stevens scored in second. JRB right behind him scored in third. Qualified very strong for this race and the highest qualified Canadian, excuse me, second highest qualified Canadian is Timac scored in fourth. Beam SKP, two NASCAR tailgate truck series wins for him on NASCAR Heat 5 and he has scored in P5, highest driver running out of France. Silk Strider scored in sixth. Juicy J scored in seventh with the classic Marlboro paint job. Legend Killers out of Great Britain scored in the eighth position. Bill Baldwin, two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion in ninth. And it's Robert Lohman Sr. rounding out the top 10 in the NASCAR Colors machine. working their way through turns one and two again and now sizing themselves up for the uh, tight uphill section of Willow Springs International Raceway earlier today. If you watched the GT Cup Series race, you saw that this was a trouble area and trouble for JRB. JRB goes off course and he's going to lose the third place position. You can see him stopped over there in the dirt and that is a heartbreaker for the former NASCAR Super GT Series race winner JRB. No wins for him in the NASCAR World Championship in the Formula cars, but he was hoping to change that here today, especially after having such a strong qualifying effort. This will move Beam SKP, the driver out of France, up into P3. And while all of this was going on, the two-time NASCAR World Champion, even Steven, was able to capitalize on a couple of mistakes by Enzo Ferrari and take the race lead. And this will put Team USA out front, Team Canada running in second, Team France running in third. Timac in hot pursuit of that third and final spot on the podium very early in this race, mind you though. 60 minute endurance race here at Willow Springs International Raceway, a lot could happen. Silt Strider scored in fifth right there with these drivers and it's the Marlboro machine of Juicy J running in sixth. Legend Killers out of Great Britain still scored in seventh. The highest running driver out of Great Britain in this event. 12 drivers are still currently on track. 20 drivers from six different countries receiving points for this one. We have a new driver in third time act. The Canadian won the race earlier today at Willow Springs here in the GT Cup Series cars. So looking to carry that momentum over to the main event of the evening here for the World Championship event. It is round one of the 2021 NASCAR World Championship live on Gran Turismo Sport. Oh, we had a car spun over there and it was Rush Downing. It's currently scored in 11th. All these drivers are gonna safely work their way by and it kind of looks like uh, Robert Lohman Sr. lost control over there as well. Enzo Ferrari being given a half second penalty somehow there. He takes the lead from even Steven and he's gonna need to drain this uh, very minor penalty over the course of the next couple of turns. He's already lost two tenths of it. That's how the penalty system works here. You simply need to take a few turns slower, sacrifice the speed, and drain that time penalty. Whereas in sport mode, there's actually a section for every track where the car will automatically slow and kill the penalty for you. And it's not quite the same here for the NASCAR World Championship. The battle is on for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Beam SKP out of France, holding on to it and doing a great job. He's got Timac, the Canadian, 
running in fourth, right behind him. Juicy J out of the USA running in fifth. Silt Strider is American friend there running in sixth. And it's great to see these guys battling the way they are here in the World Championship. They've all had many battles on the NASCAR Heat Games over the years. In fact, Juicy J started in NASCAR back on NASCAR 15 Victory Edition many years ago. Running in fifth, found his first ever NASCAR win on Gran Turismo Sport for the season finale for the 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series. That was at Brazil. And it was a great day for Juicy J Motorsports. Silt Strider, former NASCAR champion on NASCAR 15, much like Juicy J, started back uh, way back on NASCAR 15 Victory Edition. Strider is also a former NASCAR World Championship race winner, and that came back in 2018, back when the NASCAR World Championship was hosted on F1 2014 on the PlayStation 3 console. So a lot of history here for this series. Fourth annual season for the NASCAR World Championship, and it's one heck of a battle. We're watching for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Towards the front, it is the Canadian Enzo Ferrari. He took a very light approach to the final turn of this circuit. Very, um, it was a very conservative approach. That corner can bite you, and as you can see, folks, there are no runoff areas here at Willow Springs International Raceway. Uh, very few walls at this track mainly only on the front straightaway where the pit road is and as you can see here in the tight uphill section turns three four and five there is a wall to the inside but it's never a factor here in this race simply folks if you overdrive a corner here at willow springs there's nothing but dirt waiting for you I can say that the lap cars are being very polite, very generous to these lead lappers who are still battling very hard for position. The battle for the lead is still raging on between even Steven and Enzo Ferrari. Two of the very, very best here on Gran Turismo Sport. Even Steven off, often the man to beat every time they come to one of these NASCAR races on Gran Turismo, no matter what class of cars it may be. And he's got his hands full here today at Willow Springs International Raceway with the newcomer Enzo Ferrari out of Canada. And even Steven's going to use the momentum he found coming out of turn seven to slingshot around Enzo. And he's going to take the race lead again. It'll be the second time of the event that even Steven finds himself leading and he will lead this lap. And just like that, folks, the draft was used. Enzo takes the lead back as they head into turn one. And this is great action here for round one of the NASCAR World Championship. And there's Beam doing an excellent job holding off Juicy J, who has now moved his way into fourth. Worked his way around the Canadian time act, the second highest running Canadian in the event as of now. Sits there in P5. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth all glued together and problems for Juicy J. The Marlboro machine was right there with these guys. He went off course and now he loses ground to the front runners. Silt Strider wiggling his car around there. You can tell he's been in the dirt. He's trying to clean those four tires off and, and try to mount a charge here on the drivers running third and fourth because now instead of being glued together like I was just going to allude to, Beam has stretched the gap now on these drivers running fourth on back, Timax stored in fourth, but what I was getting at is they're all pretty spread now. Don't think any of them are within striking distance to utilize the draft on a couple of straightaways that Willow Springs International Raceway offers, and therefore we might see them uh, get a little bit of a break. It's been tense racing for all four of these drivers ever since the drop of the green flag, ever since the green lights turned on. And the lead continues to swap back and forth dramatically here between Eve and Steven. 
And Enzo Ferrari, the last time we checked in, Enzo had the lead and it looked like he was trying to open it up a little bit. Now, it is the opposite, complete opposite story of that, and even Steven is the new race leader. Trying his hardest to, to break the threshold, folks. The draft is a factor here with these Super Formula cars, any cars, really. Uh, on Gran Turismo Sports, so as long as Enzo can stay within striking distance behind even Steven, he should be able to use that draft on the long straightaways like this one. This is the front straightaway as they uh, rocket into turn one. The speed these cars are holding here today at Willow Springs is just phenomenal. Talking to Dean before this race, he was telling me you, you can pretty much go full throttle through those final couple of turns, that long swinging right-hand turn. Some dirt was picked up there as the battle for fourth and fifth is heating up between Tymac and Strider. And unless they get side by side, they actually might be able to close it in a little bit on Beam just in front of them. The interval between all three of these cars is shrinking. And there's Bill Baldwin. Very rough start for him in this race. Drop back to the 10th position. He's now scored in P6 in the number 21 Super Formula machine. Representing Team USA, two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion in the GR1 cars. He's coming up on a lap machine, Robert Lohman Sr., who went off track over there in turn five. JRB. Representing Team USA as well, qualified third, now scored in P7 on the lead lap, still Juicy J scored in P8 after having problems early in this one. Robert Lohman Sr. in ninth, rounding out the top 10 is Rush Downing, and I believe Rush has actually just pulled his car off of the racetrack and to pit road uh, with some sort of problem. We'll, we'll get back to you on that, but... In the meantime, we'll check out the battle for the lead and we'll do a good old-fashioned crank it up, folks. Listen to the sound of these Super Formula machines. get back down and get back to the action here. We have passed the 20 minute mark of this race. So again, folks, 16 minute endurance races all season long, seven races this season to decide and to crown a 2021 NASCAR world champion. And you're watching a great battle for the lead. Enzo Ferrari, arguably the, uh, the team leader, if you want to say, for Team Canada, is back out front was able to make a move on even Steven a couple of laps ago over in the turn seven area and they're coming up to it now you'll see exactly what I mean these drivers if they're able to be a little bit uh, get a little close to the car in front of them they can use the draft and they can really pull them uh, pull some power down this straightaway and if they can get close enough often they can be to the inside as they enter turns eight and nine, the two right-hand turns. And once they get there, it's really the preferred line. They should have them cleared by the time they're uh, rocketing down the front straightaway. It's exactly how Enzo was able to take the lead just a couple of laps ago. Now they enter turn two, long swinging right-hand turn. Many different lines have been used through this corner today. You can enter a little lower, lift off the throttle a bit extra, Get back to the throttle a little sooner and really swing it out to the outside before turn three. Other drivers electing to 
enter in a lot faster into that corner I was just mentioning and, and ride the middle groove all the way until they exit. Don't think the battle for the lead is going to cool off anytime soon. The battle for third has cooled off for the time being. And it's the 2018 Oscar World Champion Time Act from Canada. He's able to emerge when the smoke cleared and he's got the P3 spot for now. And for the first time, maybe all race long, he doesn't have a challenger immediately in his draft just behind him. There is Silt Strider. Ooh, went a little bit wide there coming out of turn two. Was able to gather it back up before uh, coming up into the toughest section of the racetrack. He might need to wait a couple of corners until his left side tires are, are cleaned off again. But overall, Strider has had a great run here. Former NASCAR World Championship race winner back in 2018. Finished in the top five in the final standings that season. And looking to better his record here in the NWC here in 2021 on Gran Turismo Sport. Still a good battle here for fifth and sixth. It looks like Bill Baldwin is still trying to rebound after a bit of a rough start earlier in this race. JRB right behind both of them. Rough start as well. Qualified third, but went off track over in the corner they just left. And Bill Baldwin is able to clear the French phenom of Beam SKP, and he will set sail with P5 for now. It was a strong start for Beam, the lead driver out of Team France, and it's now dropped back to P6. Gotta wonder if there's something amiss maybe with that machine. And most of these lead lap cars are yet to come to pit road, and we're expecting some green flag pit stops soon. JRB is in, Beam SKP is in, Tyback and Strider are gonna stay out on the racetrack one more time. Bill Baldwin has come to pit road for Team USA. And this is all at about the halfway mark of the race. So expect them to go the rest of the distance with the fuel and the tires that they have here today. The battle for the lead is on. The battle for third is on as well. Who is going to stand on the podium with Enzo and even Steven? We'll find out here pretty soon. Two good friends off the track. and. And for the most part, good friends on the track as well. Never really any contact between these two, not even in the Outlaw Series on Wreckfest. Tymac and Strider battling hard for third and fourth. They clear the lap machine of Juicy J. And I believe that we have uh, five cars left on the lead lap at this time. There you saw Bill Baldwin leaving that corner. He's not too far in front of your race leader, even Steven. SKP, the driver out of France, has dropped back to P6, as we mentioned, and continues to lose ground slowly to the top five runners. But overall, it's going to be a pretty good start to the World Championship for Beam SKP. And a problem there for Bill Baldwin. Actually, it looks like he's giving room to the race leader, Eden Steven, and he does. See, that's what team... Uh, a nation teammates are going to do for you here sometimes in the world championship. Bill gave a lot of room to his Team USA teammate, even Steven there. And some cars have pulled off the racetrack with some problems in this race. We only have nine cars left on the racetrack. The leaderboard is on the left-hand side of your screen. And we're working lap 36, at least the leaders are. We have four cars left on the lead lap at Willow Springs International Raceway. All right, everybody is able to tune in and join us, folks. Double header evening at Willow Springs International Raceway. And remember, round two of the NASCAR World Championship on Gran Turismo Sport will come to you live uh, at some point this week. The date will be announced, the time will be announced on the NASCAR Series Racing Facebook page, and you will be able to track down to Mount Panorama. Drivers will be traveling all the way down to Australia and get these Super Formula cars prepared for the second installment of the fourth annual NASCAR World Championship. And it's 
Steven Steven showing the way. He has led the second most laps in this race, and if he leads a couple of more, he will surpass Enzo uh, for that, for the most laps led in this race. Oh, and even Steven drove a little bit too hard there in turn two, went off course, was able to keep the car in control, but that definitely cost him some ground, and Enzo is close enough now to the point where if, if he gains another couple of tenths, he might be able to utilize the draft from even Steven's car in front of him and maybe run him down. 60 minutes is a long time to play around with your tire and fuel strategy as well. Gotta wonder if Enzo is maybe trying to take care of his tires, take care of the equipment for a late race charge. Maybe wondering if he can catch even Steven now or not and might be trying to save something for the end. Under 15 minutes remaining here, round one of the NASCAR World Championship, Willow Springs International Raceway. It's the Big Willow layout. It's been a doubleheader evening earlier today. You saw the NASCAR GT Cup Series event, round two of their season here at Willow Springs International Raceway, and it was Ty Mack, the Canadian, who was able to pull off the win, and that one surprised many, I'm sure. His first points race for the GT Cup Series this season. Remember, folks, the Rolex 8 with round one for the Super GT Series and the GT Cup Series. And Time Hack elected to go into the Super GT class, and I'm sure there's no regrets. He was able to win the Rolex 8 event, finds himself running third here in the season opener for the NASCAR World Championship. And honestly, folks, I think if you were to ask him, you thought he was going to be running up there in a podium spot today at Willow Springs. He more than likely would have said no, so I'm sure he's very happy with it. Another, another driver who I'm sure is very happy with his performance here today is Silt Strider. Former NASCAR World Championship race winner back in 2018. Finds himself in P4 and has a good ride going here. Good run going. A top five run going as well for two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion Bill Baldwin. Had a rough start to this race and has recovered quite nicely. Team SKP scored in the sixth position. The highest running driver for Team France was up there battling in the top three for most of this race in the early going especially and has dropped back a couple of spots after um, a few errors on the racetrack involving uh, hard battles for position. And it looks like he's gonna hold on for solid points here today though. JRB, right behind him, running in seventh, and then it's Juicy J in the classic Marlboro paint job. We were talking about that earlier in the broadcast about how nice it is. He's running in the eighth position, but you saw just a moment ago Went off-roading coming out of the final corner there. Great save by him. These super formula cars don't handle well in the dirt whatsoever. And he keeps his car alive in this battle. Three-car battle for 6th, 7th, and 8th. And folks, don't look now, but he's there. Under 10 minutes remaining in this race, and Enzo is there, and problems for the two-time NASCAR World Champion, Even Steven. He goes off track, coming out of the final turn. We have a new race leader, and it's Enzo out of Team Canada. They rocket around the, the, the long swinging right-hand turn here, turn two, and I can't believe what I just saw. Steven went off course in the dirt and really had to grab a handful of steering wheel to make sure that car didn't go completely around and do a 360. And, and a great effort really to save the car and be where he is right now rather than completely at a commission. He's still within striking distance to take the lead from Enzo. Enzo was close enough to capitalize on the opportunity and he might win his very first NASCAR World Championship race here today. If he does, Team Canada sweeps the, the double header here today 
at Willow Springs International Raceway. Time will tell. We do have under eight minutes left in this race, and, and I don't know if even Steven is going to be able to get close enough to make the same move he's done a couple of times with, with only that many laps remaining. Question is, how much of even Steven's car has been used up trying to run away from Enzo, and how dirty are the tires after going off track? find out the answers to all of these questions are coming up shortly we have under one minute remaining here for the season opener for the fourth annual nascar world championship 2021 season for the nwc and enzo out of team canada they're they're, they're going to show the white flag here in just about 14 seconds now 10 seconds they're not going to hit the line before the clock runs out so this will be the last lap for the Super Formula cars, the World Championship drivers here at Willow Springs. Enzo, looking to hold on, looking to slay the dragon, looking to climb the mountain. I don't think Enzo understands the magnitude of the situation. Even Steven is the two-time world champion here in NASCAR. The undisputed and defending and reigning world champion, and Enzo is going to do it. He has done what seems to be the impossible, and he has beat even Steven. He wins round one of the 2021 NASCAR World Championship here at Willow Springs International Raceway. What a race, what a run by Enzo, and what a non-stop battle for the lead all race long. Ty Mac is going to claim the last spot on the podium, and it's going to be for Team Canada. Beam SKP, the highest finishing driver for Team France, will finish P6. And I'd like to thank the viewers for joining us for the first installment of the 2021 NASCAR World Championship Round 2 coming your way in a, just a couple of days from now. From Mount Panorama, these drivers will travel down to Australia, down under, and they will get these cars dialed in, tuned up, and ready to go give you round two of the 2021 NASCAR World Championship. Good night, everybody, and stay fast.